Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding with another Smart Bird Feeder unboxing and review. You'll notice that this box does not have anything on it because this is not an officially released product yet. And so I'm very excited about this one. It claims to be the first fully squirrel proof Smart Bird Feeder and it's all metal, which is uh, something that I've been liking about certain Smart Bird Feeders when they're metal. So we're going to unbox it and review it. And I believe they're doing like a Kickstarter for it. So let's get us opened up here. Right away we have our instruction manual drill stickers in it. We have a seed cup on top with a mounting strap. Have our antenna. And then we also have a little box of components. Let's check that out real quick. So this is going to be a charging cable, some screws, drywall, uh, stuff for like drilling into drywall. Here's our stand, very heavy duty. Always appreciate a good heavy duty stand after I had a raccoon totally just sit on one of the feeders and bend the, bend the stand. This one is not going anywhere though. Ooh, let me show you this. Look at that. I like the orange. It's got an orange top. I can tell you it feels durable right away. I think like it's very attractive looking feeder. And I feel like with metal it just feels like it's gonna last a long time. The uh, roof just opens and closes. It's a really easy, simple roof setup. And then we'll take the plastic off the front. If you watch me do these, you know this is one of my favorite parts. Always satisfying. And then inside, it actually comes with a suet ball and then a little hummingbird nectar feeder in there too. So some nice little like extras that you get right away. But it feels like it's constructed well. When you have a metal feeder, it just like, it feels, it feels like more serious than the plastic ones. And we got this, which I'm assuming attaches to like the um, perch. And then our actual perch. This is a little interesting. Oh, it comes with a hook. I don't think I've ever seen a smart bird feeder come with like a hanging hook. And then the perch is all metal too. This is the same company that made the bird kiss feeder and they have that like waffle fry design or they were like the first company that I saw with it. Um, so it's continuing on in this one, but then this goes in here like that. So you can put other stuff in here. You put water in there, extra seeds. So this is going to go on like this. Let's do that real quick. And then there's a few other things in the box still. So this unscrews. I like stuff that's simple, super intuitive big components, that screws off, that fits in there, does it go this way or this way, it's got to go this way, and this is supposed to be fully squirrel proof, so what I'm assuming is they're thinking this grate in here is going to prevent squirrels from going in and just digging around. So it'll be interesting to see if squirrels will actually come on and try to get it. I'm not going to do any squirrel proofing. So I'm going to say, squirrels, come on, try your best, and we'll see how much they're actually able to get out of it. So we got that screwed in. We can throw this in here if we want. And then let's get the antenna on the back. Overall, I feel like the construction is really nice. Like this thing, I'm pretty impressed by it so far. Seed reservoir is not huge, but that's kind of most smart bird feeders don't have a super large seed reservoir. So here we are. And then to open it, we just do this. Pour your seed in. Stand. And then also in the box, we have our solar panel. 
So keep in mind, even if the feeder does turn out to be squirrel proof, solar panel cable is not. And I have had squirrels chew these, so that's one reason why even if your feeder is squirrel proof, you may want to put this on a pole with a squirrel baffle away from like foliage so squirrels can't jump to it just because they will chew cords and things like this. Awesome. Uh, let's get this set up. Um, I think I'm going to go through the app real quick. This is an app I've actually used before. It's the Vico Home Security app. This looks like when you scan the QR code on here, it'll actually take you to like instructions about it. So that's cool. Uh, but let's just go to the app and I should probably charge it. We'll see if it has any charge. It's pretty heavy just to like hold compared to all the, uh, you know, the plastic ones. So I'm just holding the power button down. Turned on. Looks, looks like it comes with a micro SD card too. So that's cool. I like when they include the micro SD cards. It knows. You gotta sign in. Sign me in. So let's add device. Hear the sounds. Think it's gonna work. If you have a firewall, you may have to take your firewall down for this to work. Connection succeeded. Nice. Fine, we'll go garden again. It says the Wi-Fi is strong, that's cool. It's important to put these where your Wi-Fi is. So it has info for you. Now with this type of camera, let's see if it let's see if we can get an image. It actually is charged a little bit, so I might just leave it. But you'll probably want to charge it before you put it out. And it's working, nice. So with these, there's like sound, so you can hear the noises. There's an alarm. Which is like if you see a squirrel on it. I've found that they will get scared at first, but then they kind of get used to it over time. There's a light you can turn on. And then you can also speak into it. So if you hold down, you can say stuff into it. Uh, and then it will send motion notifications and take short videos. And there's also a bird fans plan you can get, which you have to pay for. So I'm probably not gonna do that. Uh, over here, the bird fans plan. But that'll try to identify stuff for you. I've actually used it before. And so basically it'll show you your video clips, but then it'll have um, a little green bird next to it. And if you click that, it'll try to identify the species. And I found it to be hit or miss. It'll give like a percentage, like we think it's this, this percentage or this another percentage. So I found it to kind of be, you know, it'll get it or won't. Uh, but if you're familiar with the birds in your yard, you probably don't need that. Now with having the SD card in here, it should save our video files on there. But if you don't have an SD card in, I think it'll just save like the last couple days. So if you have a bunch of media in there, you can save the videos before they delete, but it will only save the last couple days if you don't have an SD card in there. So let's get this set up and we'll see how it works and hopefully we'll see some cool species. Set our solar panel up right here into this board and then I do kind of have the cord just kind of all over the place if you're doing this permanently you're going to want to make sure like I'd probably wrap it all the way around this pole um, just so it's not going to be hanging down in front of anything you don't want anything to get caught in it or chew it but I decided to hang our feeder up so here I filled it and I'll just put some extra seeds in here I think these are probably for water but we'll just throw some extra seed and then I did put some suet in the suet ball so maybe we'll get like a woodpecker or something uh, we're ready to go. We're all set up. I like when they give you options to hang the feeder and this is like a relatively squirrel proof setup. It'd be tough for squirrels to jump on. Um, 
So if we don't see any squirrels, I might put it down lower because uh, I want to see if it actually is quote unquote squirrel proof. In addition to the birds, a raccoon came to check out the feeder, but didn't seem interested in feeding from it, and a chipmunk did come to eat a couple of times. During my testing, I did not see any gray or red squirrels at the feeder. I've had the feeder set up for a while, and I actually moved it lower, because I wanted to see if squirrels would go on it, and I will say I have not seen a squirrel. Now, I do think that this design helps having kind of this metal over the seed opening. Uh, but I also wonder if it prevents birds with larger bills from feeding in that section. Because one thing I haven't seen, I'm going to go back and look at all the footage, is a northern cardinal, which has like a bigger bill. But some of the other bigger birds, like grackles, were on there. So it didn't seem to affect them. And I guess cardinals could come eat if you fill these um, trays up front here with seeds. But overall, it's been really cool to test. I thought the picture was nice. Let's go through the app a little bit, um, just so you can see kind of the interface. So we open up our app, and you can see the live stream. And then if I hit library, it'll show me the stuff stored in the cloud, which does only have like the last couple days. You can see me there talking, um, but let's go down. So we have like this chickadee clip we can click on and it's a 10 second clip. So that's awesome. I really enjoyed seeing like the purple flowers in the background of the videos too. And then if we go to our SD card and we click there, then it'll have like all our, all our events saved. So these gray things are the events, so we can zoom in and we can scroll. And then we can see like the whole recording. So there's a house sparrow and then it flies off. So uh, if we put the SD card on the computer, we should be able to get all of the media that's been taken. So that's really neat. And then uh, overall, I thought this feeder worked really well. Uh, I like the metal smart bird feeders. Is it squirrel proof? Hard to say. Um, but either way, if this is squirrel proof or not, remember your cords and cables aren't. So I would still apply some avenue of squirrel proofing. But it was really fun to test. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.